free, and the kids in every neighborhood belong. It's a funny company, cause it's just for fun, you see. So come on running when you hear our song. Come to order, come to order, says the president. And when the funny company meets here, guess what we present? Things to see. And things to do. Somebody got this telegram from Eskimo named Nunu saying he found uranium deposits up here. It better not be a hoax. Those brats wouldn't be flying here if it wasn't a good deal. Hmm, says Nunu Eskimo. Wonder if he lives here. Oh, I hope he's got plenty ice cream bars. Oh, ah! This is certainly nice of Quartz Teaberry to fly us here in his private plane, the spirit of peppermint. Oh, it won't be long and we'll be seeing my old friend, Nunu. Okay, get him. I got him, boss. Oh, is he tough? Fool, that's a walrus. Oh, I get the point. I've got Nunu, your excellency. <laughs> what did Nunu say? You certainly are a good pilot, Mr. T. Berry. Oh, there's not much to fly in these days. Even youngsters are learning. <laughs> Even girls? Yeah, I know a girl a lot like you, Violet who learned a lot about flying in one short lesson. Uh, she went out to the airport and got into a small private plane, and she was the co-pilot. Well, first the pilot told her all about the hand controls. It's kind of like the wheel of a car. If you want to turn it to the left, you just turn the wheel and the plane banks, uh, which means it kind of tilts down on the left side and up on the right as it turns. Of course, you use hand controls along with foot controls to steer the plane where you want it to go and keep it steady. Uh -huh. Well, when you want to go up or higher, you pull back on the hand controls. And the throttle, well, that's like the gas pedal in the car. Well, you push it in to make the engine go faster. Well, it wasn't very long before my young friend, the co-pilot, was experiencing the thrill of taking off into the wild blue yonder, as it were, for the first time in her life. Oh, what a thrill. And when they were up, the pilot let her steer the plane a bit. Oh, they banked and made left turns and right turns. And then, when she finished her first lesson, her lesson in the air, as it were, uh, they came in for a beautiful landing. Oh, how smoothly they came in, because the pilot was a very good pilot with much experience, and that counts. Of course, they had wheels on that airplane, not like the skis we have on our plane now, so that we can make a landing on snow and ice, uh, like we'll find down near Nunu's igloo. <laughs> All right, let's get Nunu out of here. You dogs, mush. <laughs> what did Nunu say? Maybe he said they like cornflakes better than mush. <laughs> oh! What a smooth landing. Oh, look. Why, that's Nunu's dog sled and team. And that looks like Billy Laguna and the forces of evil. Oh, he must have found Nunu's telegram and beat us here. Oh, they have poor Nunu. Stop them. Or slow them down. Oh, Violet, what are you doing? <laughs> Frozen solid. <laughs> well, almost. You put those villains on ice, Violet. <laughs> well, you said I could be a pilot, and when I saw the snow, I decided to pilot. To pilot on them. <laughs> <laughs> what did Nunu say? He said he's heard of the abominable snowmen, but this is the first time he's ever seen any. <laughs> Hope you'll be here then, cause now you're in the bus.